Year in and year out, the man is normally near the top of the heap for getting off the starting line. They matched each other, 0-54 on both sides. Todd's car spins the tires and explodes. 392.6 at 329 miles an hour. Matt Hagen has gone back to back at the NHRA, Emily Oil, Gator Nationals, and Nitro Funny Car, and Todd gave it his all and blew it up. Well, Matt, you gave your team owner, Tony Stewart, his first win here, first Wally here last season. You have referenced the Gator National fans all weekend. To pick up this Wally in front of a packed audience, what would you like to say to them? It's amazing. Thank you guys for the support. We love all of our fans out here. Can't do it without them. But, you know, for this power broker Dodge, it's just running strong. Dickie Venerable, happy birthday. My dad's here. My best friend's here. It's just amazing. I mean, uh, I'm just I'm in awe with our team right now to come out here and only test for a couple days and be able to turn four wind lights on. It's just uh, it's awesome. It's cool. Woo! Yeah! Rob yeah. Flynn and his crew look on to Mike Salinas. The top fuel final at the Gators. Yeah, Torrance is out first, and it's Mike Salinas. He ran around him 370 at 330. He beat him by 28 ten thousandths of a second. Yeah. Mike Salinas, his eighth career Wally is going to go into his hands. Can and Mike. <laughs> Mike, I talked to you to kick off this weekend, and we talked about being able to live the dream. And you said you knew what that moment meant to you. That is your eighth Wally. Do you believe it yet? No, honest to God, it's, uh, you get a little emotional because this thing, we've worked so hard to get here. We've got a great team. And it's, just, it's just amazing. It's just, it's, it's surreal. I go home and I watch this stuff on TV, and it's hard to believe it's me doing it, you know. Um, Pleasanton Ready Mix, Adams Pools, Platinum Logistics, Valley Services, Valley Recycling, Pacific Coast. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Two 500 cubic inch V8s about to be spun to some 10,500 RPM. It's the final professional final of the 2023 Gator Nationals. It is Troy Coughlin with a massive starting line advantage, 22 to 49, and it is Troy Coughlin, 663.7, 208 miles an hour. Troy Coughlin has added to the Coughlin family legacy. It is his third career win in his eighth career final round. A 676 for Mason McGahey in his second career final. Wasn't quick enough to get it finished. Troy, it's been a weekend surrounded by family. You were holding your daughter uh, at the starting line this morning. Your grandfather's been on the golf cart with you, coming up to the top end to collect you. When you look at holding this Wally today, what made this one possible? Gosh, you know, uh, my grandfather's here, my dad's here, uh, my wife's here. Uh, it's all about family. That's that's uh, the essence of the sport of drag racing. Um, just, you know, all, all the sponsors, uh, Elite Motorsports, uh, WhiteCastleJags.com, uh, just the whole sport of drag racing. You just, you kind of got to be here just, just to understand it and how awesome the sport really is. So if you're in a city that we're at, you got to be here. And there's just no other excuse. So that's, I mean, it's sold out. So come on, get to the track. Let's go. He has a four one hundredth of a second advantage. As they get past a thousand feet, the wind light comes on for Gage Herrera. Unreal, 6706, 202 miles an hour. Gage, we just heard Andrew Hines say how he saw something special in you when he was watching at home in the U.S. Nationals. In November, he called you and asked you to join Vance and Hines. Four months later, you were holding a Wally. How surreal is this moment? I never thought this would be possible, honestly. I mean, uh... I'm lost for words. I mean, I got I got to give it up the whole Man Size Mission team, uh, Suzuki team. I mean, big thanks to Andrew for seeing you know what he did in me, and uh, this is a special one. You know, it was a special weekend for me, and uh, I hope there's more to come. And uh, man, it's it's unreal. I gotta thank everyone and uh, all my fan, all my uh, friends and family back home, watching and cheering me on all weekend. So this is for them. Thank you. JR goes in. Bond follows suit. Amber splash. Reaction time advantage going to JR Gray. But his car moving around. Had to lift out the throttle. And Justin Bond. 
takes the win. 573 to 250 miles an hour. Justin Bond and the Bahrain One Racing Team victorious here at the Emily Motor Oil NHRA Gator Nationals. Look at Khaled Avalucci and the team down there. I want to say I won the race. Can the kid get revenge for one week ago? Will Julie Natas go two for two here at Gainesville Raceway? Cody Crone off the starting line first. Julie Natas really giving him a race. Wow. Julie Natas uncorks one. 5 14 7. 276. Cody Crone left first, but his 521 just got blown away. Number five in the world was the number four qualifier. Through eliminations, they've both been strong, and they're going to settle it right here. The 2023 Amelie Motor Oil NHRA Gator Nationals, the 54th edition. Into our second half century of this race. Top alcohol, funny car, final round happening now. Matt Gill off the starting line first. DJ Cox off the throttle. Matt Gill onward to victory with a five. 51 1 266. Matt Gill crushes him at the Gator Nationals. Won the Baby Gators. Won the Gator Nationals. Gets the job done. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions be the favorite in this run after he put a, putting a 62 up on the board he was all over the racetrack last time out at Sandfield and Welch all over the racetrack and still ran a 70 to win the race so Joe Welch who has never lost a final round rolls up and looks at the former world champion in the left lane if you're a Dodge fan you like that drag pack in the right lane if you're a Chevy fan you like the Copo on the left if you're a Ford fan sorry you're casually watching Chevy versus Dodge at the Gator Nationals. FlexJet, factory stock showdown, final round. Joe Welch better on the tree, Joe. Joe Welch, 018, and drive it away. Honking on to victory. 7.63.8 at 185.18 miles an hour, a new speed record. Now it's come. Joe Aerosmith left. Hi, Mom and Chloe. Just on the back window. Remember, you get a shout out by right now on the back window. Mom, Chloe, hi. Jim Green, heck right. Green, heck is in the cabinet biz. That is C Tech Cabinet Company. You already had one guy in the cabinet biz that's visiting the winter circle. Jim would like to go down there and visit him as well. Maybe you can know, talk a little shop. Make a little deal. What do you what do you use for hinges? What do you use for latches? What do you oh no, they, they probably got all that figured out. Now comp eliminator, handicap head start based on the index. You can see it down on the scoreboard. 0.32. A little over half a bulb head start goes to Joe. But there's no breakout factor in comp. Turn it green and get there first. 296 screaming little bitty cubic inches in the left side. Gonna try to hold off 330 cubic inches in the right. A couple of altered style pro stock type machines. And they both get away on a green. Now, hold it to the floor. You just got to get there first. I don't care how fast you go. 7.59, that's fast enough. Jim Greenheck's going to win it at 169 miles an hour. Joe Aerosmith goes 7.93 at 164 miles an hour. I think they would both tell you they didn't get the reaction time they wanted. But for Jim Greenheck, it was good enough. That brings us to Superstock. Pete Diagnolo is the reigning champion. He's in the white car on the left side. Kevin Helms is a four-time champion. He's obviously in the red car. In the right side, because you can't put both drivers in the same car. That would be even stupider than most of the things that I say. Handicap head start is not a lot. Diagnolo off and running on the green. Kevin Helms on the chase. Not a lot of ground to make up, but not a lot of time to do it. Finish line coming up in three, two, one. Double breakout. How about the champ, Pete Diagnolo? He goes 956 on a 58, that's under by two. Kevin Helms goes 993 on a stock. Brenda Grubbs is in a 427-69 Camaro, the old porcupine big block. Jeff Strickland is in a 427-23 Camaro. That's the LS style. Dial in, Brenda gets the head start. 
as you can see. And here comes Strickland. Old school, new school. Both have been here. Both have won that. Who takes home the Gator Nationals trophy? It's going to be Strick. He goes 926, 144 miles an hour. He predicted a 926, and he ran 9.269. 8.90 is the target. Oh, and away they go. We'll always kind of watch the cars on the starting line. See which one jumps first. Reaction advantage is huge in this because you can't outpower somebody. 888 for the win. And how about Mike Robilato? Taylor's Thompson Racing Engines. Taylor, you may recall, had the buy run last time, ran 9.900. Jeff Jensen last time had to work for it. Had to beat Rusty Cook. Used a double O light to do so. For the trophy and super gas, they both turn green. Now we'll find out who's got it dialed where it needs to be. They're looking at each other as they head down the racetrack. Jeff on one side, John on the other. Wind light, wind light, wind light. 992 and a double. 05. Here comes Super Street. The category where you got to run 1090. Colby Fuller in the left lane, Dan Fletcher in the right. The two classic Chevrolets off the stop, down to the, down to the wire, here it is. 1092, 136 miles an hour to a 1092, 127 miles an hour. Colby Fuller wins it by two thousandths of a second. And the celebration ensues. Colby Fuller just 62 cubers under the hood. His dial in 683. Both drivers get away on the green. Crummy has to work the steering wheel a little bit the first 150 feet or so. Finish line, he's still going to win it. Crumlick picks up another trophy. He's got a couple from the West Coast. Didn't have one from Gainesville until today. 6.595 and an 015 light. Margin at the stripe, two thousand of a second. You're be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. Make sure you check out the Competition Plus Power Hour with the Monday Morning Racer Lee Craft and Slammin' Sammy Smith every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play.